Hello there YouTube, Tech Savage Pro here, and as you can tell from the screen, we're going to be working with Shortcuts or Workflow, which was the name of Shortcuts before it got changed to Siri Shortcuts, and you can also tell that I'm going to be showing you how to make a password generator, and this is not a simple password generator, this is one that I actually personally made, and it's very, very complex, it's not the best. It's not going to replace like a high-tech password encryptor, but it's very, very capable of encrypting a phone or any passwords that you don't want people to know. And I'll show you what I mean by that later on, but I'm also going to show you how to make one. So, as you can tell, uh, the show result of this one is from Tech Savage Pro. Uh, I have little vibrate device in the beginning because I like that haptic feedback but basically you're gonna put vibrate device you're gonna put choose from menu and of course if you just want to download the shortcut you can go ahead and do so but this is more of an educational take on so if you want to stick around and kind of learn but like I said so vibrate choose from menu you're gonna have two options you're gonna have the alphanumeric which is letters and then numbers and it's in that order so that's what it'll generate first and then it's gonna be a section a second option and it'll be alphanumeric and symbols and the symbols will be like the at symbol and more encrypted designated letters and characters so basically after you do that you're gonna make a custom menu layout or whatever this is a sub menu and it's gonna be alphanumeric and you're gonna input all the letters lowercase and capital and then so you're gonna wanna spell out the alphabet twice and then do it again in capital letters so then you're gonna do a variable you're gonna set the character and then alphanumeric plus symbols and you're gonna do the letters the letters again in capital and then you're gonna do numbers and then you're gonna do symbols so the numbers would be 1 through 9 and then 0 at the beginning and then again you're going to do a variable character set in menu ask for input and then it'd be default answer and for this I just have it as 14 and the input type would be number so if you wanted to change it you can just change it right there and then the repetition is basically just the password length so how many times it's gonna generate each character and then after that it's split text so you can separate the the characters so they don't like give you a one character response and then you end that after putting a get item from list which is gonna sh give you the output and then in repeat combined text the separator again Replace text, find text, replace with world, case sensitive off, regular expression I turned off, and then I did copy to clipboard in case you want to copy it. I turned local only off, so this means that like you can pretty much paste it anywhere if you choose. And then I did expire at just a random time, so it'll give you like a limit on how long you can save it so nobody can like steal your phone and get your passwords. So kind of a safety feature and then I did show alert so it'll say password and then there's a clipboard option so you can go ahead and copy that. And then there's a cancel button but I go I went ahead and turned that off because I don't really ever use it. Uh, you can turn that on if you choose to but then I did a generate QR code and I turned on error correction so if there's like something wrong with it it'll automatically fix itself like user free so there's shouldn't be really too many errors I know that this was kind of a long video and probably boring because I explained everything but like I said as usual the link will be in the description below so if you want to check it out for yourself or you want to just do what I did uh, and 
make it by scratch as like a learning experience but as always subscribe like the video if you feel like this was entertaining and go ahead and comment if you want to see more videos like this it really really helps me know what entertains you guys and that's the main reason that i keep doing this i mean I want, for one i like it it's very fun to me and it really helps me know who likes my videos and who doesn't so i can kind of adapt and still have fun as a creator but again hopefully you did like this video and as always peace out see you in the next one